You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> hey folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at this. Uh, it would be an unboxing, but I like unpackaged it, tossed the packaging, washed my hands, and this is the thing that was inside. Because, you know, COVID-19, I don't want none of that stuff. So, uh, this is uh, from Kenro Industries. They are distributing Y Studio now, in addition to uh, the awesome Italian stuff like Auroras and Montegrappas and things of that nature. Uh, so, let's get in here. I haven't actually had a chance to try Y Studio's stuff yet, although I hear it's good. Like, is there a way to open this that doesn't? Here we go. This will... This will be good. Uh, anyway, I haven't had a chance to try these because they're actually kind of hard to find um, until now that Kenro is distributing them. It ought to be a lot easier to find them. But uh, this is a brand out of Japan, I believe. And they make these really cool pens. I actually don't know what this one's going to look like. I hope it's the black one. Because the black one is kind of the, kind of the business. There we go. Actually, does it say? It just says desk fountain pen. Classic. Interesting. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Uh, it comes in some very nice packaging. Let's close my little knife here. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can see this is a, a wood box. Nice sleeve on the outside. This thing like opens up like this, I think. Wait, how does it open? Can I get in there? Yeah. Oh, the hole at the top pops off. There we go. I was being careful for no good reason. Oh, it's not the black one. It's the brass one. But that's still, or a uh, copper one. But that's still okay. Let's see. Y Studio. Y Studio believes the value of some, uh, the value of simplicity in design is very important. We design products to let people use their, in, to let people use in their every, into their daily life. Goodness. And let people feel the beauty of objects. We hope to express this. Weight of words. Look at all this. This is very nice. All right, color of copper. Oh, it's copper. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, which actually is pretty good for now because uh, copper does tend to uh, destroy microbes. That's cool. The other ones that they make are black. Uh, like I have a black coating on the outside and then it's copper underneath, I think. Or maybe it's brass underneath. I'm not actually... Yeah, it's got to be brass underneath. So this is copper. Okay, well, this is cool then because uh, I've actually had some people ask me about my favorite copper pens. See, it looks like it's got a brass fitting on the inside here for the threads. That doesn't look like copper, but the outside is definitely copper. Really interesting. Has a medium Schmidt nib. I uh, I've heard that these are very very smooth. This is a nice length. This is uh, this is different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, nice. So the ones that they have had before are the like brassing portable pins. They've got like a little a little loop on the top. And I always thought those pins were a little bit too small. They seem like they're about this big. Uh, but this is this is very comfortable. The way it goes from facets to round is really nice. Uh, right here, you can see it's like planed down. So where you put your fingers is right here, and that's uh, that's actually very comfortable, very nice. Very small Y Studio engraving there on the back. The top has this little disc, but nothing else. Let's see if I can see in there and see why there's a disc there. I think they just make it out of one thing. I don't know. It looks like it might be a looks like it might be stoppered. I'm not sure. Maybe I can get it to twist. No, it doesn't feel like it. Interesting. Interesting little bit of construction there. All right, cool. This is the desk pen, which is what I asked for because this <laughs> this is very interesting. All right, whoa, that is heavy as all heck. Bam! How interesting is this? So they made this in all these like all these separate separate little cards. Huh. And there's this bit. This is a very interesting, this is a very interesting set of packagings here. I feel like they could have just made this out of one thing <laughs> instead of making it out of 75 things. All right, there we go. How does it fit in there? Just like that, huh? Huh. So it's got, um, if you can see, little scallops around the edge for these guys. Does it go in this way? No, it doesn't. Does it turn if I put it in this way? Huh, it doesn't go in long, far enough. Interesting. So it's got these little scallops here. Maybe this is for a different, like if you use it with a different pen, maybe it catches on these little scallops that are on the outside here. Uh, but with this, it just seems to just set in like that. So you've got a copper pen and a brass base. That's kind of, that's an interesting set of choices there, but this thing is all, this thing is, this is solid, man. Like how do they even get this stuff in there? Oh, I see this, uh, this black bit is holding in the white, uh, the white interior. Huh. 
that's oh oh it actually holds on pretty good because I was unscrewing the pen as I was doing that look at that huh well that's neat okay so I'm really looking forward to uh, to writing with this in fact let me go ahead and um, I'll ink it up with something and we'll just uh, we'll see what it does all right, I'm going to fill it with this little sample of uh, Mont Blanc Irish Green because I was literally just talking about this ink with somebody not too long ago. Put this in my little holder. Desk pen, desk vial, nice. Okay, so let's see how this writes. They capitalize things? No, it's all lowercase. All right, it writes very nicely, actually. You can see uh, some interesting like shading and stuff from this ink. Uh, Mont Blanc Irish Green is one of those inks that's uh, kind of a classic. If you like green, you're probably gonna like this one. It's a really nice sort of medium green, a little bit grassy, maybe a little bit like a clover, like one of those clovers. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Let's see, stick it in there. Is it gonna hit the bottom? I'm a little curious about whether it hits the bottom of that thing. And like, whoop. No, no dots of ink down there. All right, so I'm gonna set this on my desk for a while and I'm gonna be using it off and on uh, just to see, uh, like, A, does it, uh, move it here, uh, A, does it uh, drain ink into this into this well? Because that would be not great. Man, this is not falling over. This base is heavy. Let's see what it weighs. Okay, so this is set to pounds and ounces. Uh, this is uh, about 12 ounces. Let's add the pen. Oh, the pen is actually not that heavy. Let's set it for grams just for funsies. Let's say usually do grams. There we go. 333 grams is what this weighs. Plus the pen, 371 grams. So this is uh, this is a pretty heavy base. Just for uh, for grins, here is a uh, Franklin Christoph Model 2. <laughs> Gotta make it not roll. One sec. There. there we go. So this pen is uh, 21 grams. This copper pen, 30, 38 grams. And this base, 300, no, it's saying, oh, it's because I teared it. There we go. 334, so pretty, pretty close. Probably this tear is the deal, let's see. Three thirty-three, yeah. So very heavy compared to like a pen or a pen. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on my desk. We'll see if it dries out. We'll see if it drains ink into the cap. Uh, we'll see uh, if it's ready to write and go whenever I want. Uh, all those things you want to know out of a desk pen because desk pens are super convenient, but sometimes can be a little weird. So uh, let's give it a try. Thank you very much to Kendro for sending this out. I'm sure there will be a review. I'm sure there will be a review because I'm gonna do one uh, in the near future. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Until then, check that out. Really interesting. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the two tones here because uh, we got the copper and we got the brass, but I actually I actually kind of like both. All right, so um, I'm excited. I'm excited about this pen. There we go. See you later.